My name is Nathan Stevens. I'm based right out of Lexington, Kentucky. My farrier business is 99% thoroughbred farm work. I do mares, foals, yearlings, and stallions. I cover between 800 and 900 horses a month on about six different clients. My big farm has around 450 head. Um, everything gets done once a month at least. Some foals get done twice a month. Uh, all these horses are that I'm working on are going to the sales and on eventually to the races. Uh, so we stay after them pretty regularly to make sure confirmation stays in check along with their hoof alignment. Uh, this is a Stonewell 2021 uh, long bed box style shoeing rig. Organization is a very big key when you're doing a large number of horses on a short amount of time. In 30 days everything has to be done and you're looking at 800 something ahead of horses you gotta be done, you gotta be efficient. And so this was the best way to keep my efficiency on the high rate. Everything's pretty simple on my truck, I keep it simple. I don't do a lot of fire work, so I don't uh, use a lot of propane, but I do have a forge. If I'm shoeing something, it usually needs shoes, mare or stallion. Um, I do a lot of glue on shoes, uh, and I do a lot of glue on bow extensions and stuff like that. But everything was important to me to be organized because I just needed to be right where I need to go get it and get back to my horse while I'm working on. You need to be efficient around the thoroughbreds is uh, when you got 150 foals on one farm, they all get done once a month. You don't have a great amount of time to get them done in. And so you gotta be in and out as quick as possible. And the thoroughbreds get a little anxious when you're sitting there waiting on you. Everything has to run smooth and there's a lot of traffic in and out of farms. And so you gotta be able to get to your truck, get what you need and get back to the horse so you're not clogging up somebody else's day. And everything we do is the same time of every month. Like at the first week of the month, I'm doing the Crestwood Foals. At the second week, I'm doing Ruiz Foals and come back at the third week, doing another group of Crestwood Foals. And so everything just has to flow very smooth and you have to have a good time schedule. And so a rig is very important as far as just staying efficient and not getting lost trying to find stuff in your truck. This is one of my shoe racks. That's where I keep all my Broodmere shoes at. And I've got some glue on shoes underneath here. Then this is also another shoe bin. This has race plates and yearling plates in it, along with uh, Equilox and glue stuff and extensions, full extensions, and glue, more glue on shoes. And we work on back over here. I do keep a generator in the truck. Uh, one of the most handiest things I've ever put in the truck as far as a shoeing rig. I do a lot of mares outside in the fall time when they win the babies. They kick them out on big fields so they're not close to the barn so they don't bring them into the barn and there may be a mare out in the field that has shoes on and she may either have pads on or need a heel grounded on her shoes so I've got electric here at all times. I can plug up my generator and it runs everything on my truck except the welder. If I'm welding on a bar shoe I'll be at a barn anyway. And I keep my Equithane gun up here and of course I do have a fishing pole in here. Uh, you never know when you see a pond at lunchtime. This is the back of my truck. I call it my, my desk or my office. I uh, start with my forge right here. It's a, a Whisper Mama. It's an older one because I don't use it a whole lot, so I don't need a great big fancy one. My shoe and box has a nice little holder in here that they built for me to keep it from moving around. I've got plenty of drawer spaces up through here for nails and hoof packing material. Of course, I got my little holster for my sander and my hoof jack. And I also have a fan in here for the summertime. It does have electric that hooks up to it. Some hammers and some extra tools over here in my paints. This is the passenger side of the truck. I have a buffer here to sharpen knives. The grinder and the bandsaw, very, very useful. Use that daily. I got a slide out for my drill press. Bend system up here, which I really, really like. Keep stuff out of the way. It's not in a drawer. I've got a pad rack, of course, with foam boards and leather pads and felt pads and plastic pads. I keep a 110 welder in the truck. It's a Miller 110 or Miller 140, 110 volt. And I got a propane compartment underneath, two side compartments underneath. I try to keep it as clean as possible. It's hard to do. As everybody knows, horseshoes are getting busy and tend to get messy. So this is a good way to try to keep everything organized and everything has a spot. Uh, that was really important to me because I've gone through other trucks where they didn't have a spot and uh, that was one reason that I decided to go with the full body. Every shoer is different where I work on thoroughbred farms. I'm totally different from somebody that would be doing jumping horses or somebody that would be doing cutting horses and pleasure horses. 
you need to talk to other prayers and, and how they like their rig set up, what was a game changer for them, and what they wouldn't do and what they would do again. Because it's a big decision, and as far as just figuring out what you want exactly, and that way you can only do it one time, and it should last you a lifetime.